In this video, we'll go over Godot's editor interface to help you situate yourself and know what is where. This will help you follow the next videos coming in this series smoothly. We'll first go over the project manager. You will then get an overview of the most critical editor docs and panels, Godot's four main screens like the 2D and script editors, and the super useful integrated class reference that you will get to use a lot as you work with the engine. When you launch Godot, the first window you see is the project manager. In the default tab, projects, you can manage existing projects, import or create new ones, and more. You can most notably type in the search bar to filter existing projects, which is really useful when importing many demos. There are two tabs in the project manager. By default, we are on projects, and the other is templates. There, you can search for demo projects in the open source asset library, which includes many demos, add-ons, and other tools developed by the community. You can also change the editor's language using the drop-down menu in the top right corner. Let's create a new project to show you around the editor. To do so, click on the New Project button and find an empty directory. If you don't already have one, you can use the corresponding button to create it. Once we create and open the project, the editor's interface appears. Let's look at the main areas. You can find the menus, main screens, and playtest buttons along the Windows top edge. In the middle, you have the viewport, which is currently the 3D view by default. There is also a 2D one, which you can access by clicking on the 2D main view button at the top of the window. To go back to the 3D viewport, you can click on 3D at the top. You can find the toolbar above the viewport, which contains tools to move objects, scale them, log their selection state, and more. There, you will find all the tools to interact with your objects in the scene. Notice how the toolbar changes when you switch between the 2D and 3D main views. The tools are contextual. On the left and right sides of the viewport, you can find the docs. And at the bottom, you have the bottom panel, which you can fold and expand. The file system doc lists your project files, be it scripts, images, audio samples, and more. The scene doc lists the active scenes nodes. The inspector allows you to edit the properties of the selected node. The bottom panel, situated below the viewport, is the host for the debug console, the animation editor, the audio mixer, and more. Those editors can take space, that's why they're folded by default. When you click on one of the tabs, the panel expands vertically. The double arrow button in the panel's bottom right allows you to expand it to take the whole viewport. You can then click it again to have the panel go back to its previous size. There are four main screen buttons centered at the top of the editor. 2D, 3D, Script, and Asset Lib. You'll use the 2D screen for all types of games. In addition to 2D levels, this is where you will build your interfaces. Press F1 or Alt1 on macOS to access it. In the 3D screen, you can work with meshes, lights, and design levels for 3D games. Press F2 or Alt2 on macOS to access it. Notice the perspective button under the toolbar. Clicking it opens a list of options related to the 3D view. The script screen is a complete code editor with a debugger, rich auto completion, and built in code reference for GDScript. Press F3, Alt plus 3 on macOS to access it. Finally, the asset lib is a library of free and open source add ons, scripts, and assets you can use in your projects. Godot's script editor comes with a built-in class reference. There, you can search for information about a class or node type, method, property, constant, or signal. To open the search menu, you have three options. You can press Shift F1 anywhere in the editor. You can also click the Search Help button in the top right of the script main screen. Or you can click the Help menu and then Search. When you do any of these, a window pops up type to search for any item. You can also use it to browse available node types and methods. You can double click on any item or press enter to open the corresponding page in the script main screen. We will break down the content of those pages in the next lesson. Before we wrap up, I want to mention that you can browse the reference in another useful way. When you are in the script editor, you can hold the control key down and click on a variable name or node name registered in the documentation. Doing so will directly open the corresponding page. 
In the next video, you will learn something fundamental for you to learn good fast and efficiently. And after that, we'll get to the meat of it and start working with scenes, nodes, and all the rest with hands-on examples. If you want more good content now, you can get a selection of our best tutorials and resources in your inbox. Click the link in the description or the icon on the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.